This is my review for Iconoclasts for the Nintendo Switch. I liked this game a lot better than I thought I would. Uh, it, it seemed kind of like, uh, you know, it seemed kind of cheesy, kind of RPG-ish. Uh, but once I got into it, I really started to enjoy it. Uh, graphically, it's it's pixel art, right? But it's 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 better than your average pixel art. There's a lot of like bounce animations when you're standing still. A lot of bounce animations, the climbing animations. There's a lot of animations that feel smooth and fluid and the animations look good. There's there's a lot of depth and a lot of things that go into the characters and each little sprite and all the different things that happen in the towns and the overall design of the game, the vibrant colors and the, and the, and the pretty animations, lots of them going on all at once. And I didn't experience any sort of frame rate issues whatsoever on the Switch. Uh, I, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna give the graphics a nine. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, as far as gameplay goes, this is, this is great. This was, uh, it's kind of a fun little RPG style story, but it's not necessarily an RPG. You don't really have to level up your characters. You don't have to do turn-based combat. It's not like a Final Fantasy style RPG or like a Paper Mario style RPG. It's, uh, you know, just a single story adventure that you play through, um, so it feels kind of RPG-ish because of all the text boxes, but at its core, it's a puzzle game. And you you go through and you you hit things with wrenches and you turn turn bolts and you, and you use the abilities that you gain to unlock new areas. And there's a little bit of backtracking back and forth in the level design, but it's it's the perfect amount. It's a good job of, of, of having you go back and use the abilities that you learn to op open up new areas, to get new keys, to open up another area where you learn a new ability, where you can come back. And there's a lot of that back and forth, and I, I really enjoy that. There is a little bit of a uh, an upgrade to yourself you can do. You can, you can upgrade yourself with the... Uh, materials that you find in the game by, by breaking things and, and opening treasure chests you get different materials and you can use those materials to craft weapon upgrades or health upgrades or something like that but it's it, it doesn't really seem to impact the game i'm getting by just fine without doing any any upgrades whatsoever um i've had a really great time with it the boss fights are complicated there's phases there's different things to learn once you learn the patterns it becomes pretty easy uh, but I think that's the way this game was intended to be. It's, it's, a, it's a really fun little platformer, combat platformer. Uh, Gameplay-wise, uh, I'm probably also going to give that a 9. No, 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 no. I'll bring it down a little bit. 8.5. It could be a little better. There could be a little less backtracking. Um, audio? The music is great. The music is is great it, it the tracks are on a loop so when you're in a specific area you are hearing the same song over and over again but there's enough variation to that one track to that one theme the overarching melody is the same but there's different variants of it so you really don't notice all that well and you don't you don't spend a lot of time in one particular area too long to really have it get on your nerves but so far there's tons and tons of songs that are all pretty pretty good the sound effects are good. They're crisp. A lot of little chimes and, and sounds and explosions. Um, the one thing I kind of wish it had was spoken dialogue. That's that's a thing that I like to hear in games. Uh, there is beep speech, at least. I Some people have mixed feelings about beep speech. Uh, some people like it to be silent because in games that are more like a visual novel, you'll end up with just hearing beeps and beeps and beeps and beeps, and you just hate it. Um, this game has beep speech, but fortunately, you know, the dialogue is only basically in the cutscenes, and uh, then you go through the action sequence, and then you go back to the cutscene, so it's not just a continuous flood of little kind of sounds. You know, you don't, you don't want that. You don't want that. So I'm going to give audio an 8. It could be a 9 if there was some spoken dialogue or something like that. Uh, Story-wise, it's actually turning out to be pretty good. I thought it was going to be kind of cheesy at first, uh, but I love the themes and the elements. The, the bad guys are kind of um, named after colors. So there's royal, as in royal blue. There's a chrome, which is kind of a pinkish chrome. There's black. There's white. There's The bad guys are named after colors. Um... 
the 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 organization they work for is uh the concern which is more like the military police uh and they do something called the penance they're a very religious organization you know religious based government um and uh, there's the mother which is the provider for all the things uh and uh it's 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 really it's really good it's it's a surprisingly good story and there's plenty of little twists and turns even right at the beginning that uh that kind of keep you going and make you think oh yeah this is this is actually pretty good so the story moves along at a very good space i'm gonna go ahead and give that also an 8.5 it was way better than I thought it was going to be, and that makes this game average out to 8.5, and if I had to round to a, a whole number on Metacritic, I'm going to give it a 9. It's it's that good. It's a very, very good game uh, for the Nintendo Switch. Average retail price is $20, $19.99 on the eShop. It does go on sale occasionally for $9.99, uh, so definitely when it goes to $9.99, I highly recommend picking up Iconoclasts for the Nintendo Switch.